everybody, it's Nicole, and on today's play date, we're going to do something fun. Um, we're going to make a crown. Uh, I remember as a kid, I wanted to be the ruler of my own kingdom, whether that be the sandbox, the backyard, my bedroom. Um, and it doesn't matter, you know, gender, whether you wanted to be a princess, a prince, um, king, queen. Uh, it was always fun just to dress up, you know, have a crown, be royal, you know, be the ruler, um, be in charge. You know, the kid kind of just wants to be in charge. And my inner child today was saying, Nicole, I think that you want to wear a crown because you know, you're the queen of your castle. And so uh, first we did a trial run and we made this one and it was pretty fun. So. I thought, and you know, all it took was, well, I'll show you. So what we're gonna do first of all, and I'll put this out here, right here. So the first thing you do is you wanna measure your head like that. Mine came up to 21 fabulous inches. Um, because I don't know if that's standard, but for me, it's beautiful. And I took a piece of a flap of a cardboard box and in, in the um, interest of saving time, I'm just going to cut, I'm just going to cut it in half. I probably should have done that earlier, but it's okay. Because the video doesn't have to be two seconds long, but I don't want to bore you, you know. Um, you know, kids like to feel special, and, and so do adults. I mean, they all like to think that, you know, we're in charge of something, or that we're the ruler of something, and, you know, to feel that, sometimes it's just fun to do something fun. Um, and then, again, in the interest of saving time, um, I had actually cut out the triangles first and then wrapped it in tape, but I think that this time, just for... The video, I'm just gonna, you know, wrap it in, in the tape first. So you want to put the two ends together, and that's why we chose the silver tape. Not only because, you know, silver, I'm not really great with duct tape, just, just so you know, but that's okay because nobody's perfect, right? Um, in the end, like, you want to wrap the two ends together to hold them and you know silver duct tape also you know crowns can be silver or they can be gold so that's why we did the silver duct tape and then we're just going to go around it real quick and to make the crown more flexible I just kind of you know, broke the box up a little bit so that it wasn't so like square on my head. I mean, you could also use, um, what is that stuff? Like a garbage bag or something, but I felt like this was a little bit more sturdy. And, you know, we're just doing this for video, so it's not going to be perfect. And I always emphasize on my videos that nothing that I do has to be perfect. Because when I was growing up, I was a perfectionist, and it stressed my life out. And it took me years and years in therapy to discover and learn that nobody is perfect. So, and especially not to instill that in children because, you know, they're just learning and they certainly don't need any extra stress in their lives. So, we just tell ourselves that we're doing our best and that it's beautiful and we love it just the way it is. And it's always okay to make improvements, you know, that's not to say that 
you know, you have to accept things the way they are. We can always improve on things. But, you know, positive, again, always stress on positive self-talk so that we grow up and even as grown-ups have good self-love, good self-esteem. Really wanting to have good relationships with our children, with our inner child, with ourselves. So we can't love ourselves, you know. We certainly can't love another person or expect another person to love us. And so, you know, that inner child healing is going to be the most important thing that you can probably do for yourself, that self-love. The most important shadow work that you can probably do. All right. One more piece. Look at how good of a job you did, Nicole. I'm really proud of you. Thanks, Nicole. I think it's looking pretty snazzy myself. I just bought that roll of tape. You might need to get another one. That's okay. They have it at the Dollar Tree. Okay. Just about everything I use on my videos, I can find at the Dollar Tree because, you know, I don't want my projects to be something that anybody feels like you have to go out and spend a fortune on because, you know, fun doesn't have to always be expensive. And the whole point about, you know, my inner child healing is that it should be fun. Okay, so like I said, in the interest of saving time, Instead of having a nice clean edge like I would if I did each point, I'm just going to cut down to make the shape that I want. And we can make, you can make them points. You know, you could even make them squares if you wanted to, which would be it interesting idea i think the guy uh, the the king on um mr rogers i think his crown was uh had squares but that was a long time ago so i don't quite remember sorry children wasn't it King Friday? Wasn't that his name? Somebody will have to like leave in the comments and remind me. I think it was King Friday. Okay, I'm going this side. Again, I'm not making anything, you know, perfect, you know, it's just for the video. But that doesn't mean that it can't be fun or cute. Okay, so that's the back. So this one here is going to be like the one I want to make like. Taller, I think.
right. So that's looking pretty even, I think. I'm liking it, digging the shape. Okay, and then also at the Dollar Tree, they have these fun little gems, right? So I just think on the top one here, I got a yellow here. I think I'll stick that right here. And then maybe this green one. I'm shaking. I think I, I had a little too much caffeine or something. And then maybe another, because it's right next to it, maybe we'll just do another yellow one. And then on the next one over, well, I got another yellow one, so I guess that's what we'll be doing. Oh, sorry. I should show you what I'm doing. I'm an amateur. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. And then we'll put like another one here. And like you can put as many, you know, gems on there as you want to. And then you can even get like I've got these paint pens. Um, or you could use like a, a Sharpie, a permanent marker, whatever. Um, and we could even write our names on it. Like I, I can write, uh, of course I pick one you can't see very well. I picked gold because you know, gold and gold, but let's pick a color that we can see. How about red? There, we got my name on there, and I could highlight that with gems. And now I am the queen of my castle. And I feel extra special and extra fun, and I can go play. And if I wanted to, I could get out my magic wand. Yes, I own a magic wand. And I could make wishes and life would be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed my, um, my crowns and um, that you, you know, maybe try one because to be honest, having a crown on your head makes you feel empowered, kinda. Like I could maybe go rule the world. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go do that. You guys take care, and I love you.